Well, Tularinos, how cold is too cold to be in the shop? Let's find out. Twenty four degrees. Pretty chilly. Well, out in the freezing shop, I decided uh, I would try to polish especially that spot and that spot on these uh, shades that are also Z87 rated, so they are safety glasses. But uh, the worn spots, right where you look through them, uh, make them very annoying to wear. So I wanted to try and polish it and see if I could take those scratches out of it. But unfortunately, in the cold shop, uh, everything's frozen. <laughs> Even the Murphy's oil soap, solid. The plastics, solid. I'm gonna try to scrape a little bit out of there and just warm it up between my fingers <laughs> and see if uh, I can do something with these safety glasses. All right, well I scraped some out of there. It's kind of like Meguiar's Plastex Snow, <laughs> but uh, we'll see what it does. All right, well, just using the Meguiar's uh, didn't really take away all those spots. Um, it definitely helped. It definitely is better and more usable that way, but I really want to see if I can get it better. So I busted out the uh, number seven rubbing compound, and interestingly, it is still liquid. So, huzzah! Let's give that a try. Alright, well, it's not perfect. But it's definitely better than it was. And I'd say they're usable. They're certainly better than getting a sharp stick in your eye. Alright, this is just an oddity out in the frozen shop. How does this happen? Two bottles that are supposed to be purified water one freezes solid, the other one's still perfectly liquid. Hmm. I'm thinking that one must have at least a little bit of salt in it or something. That makes the, uh, the freezing temperature slightly lower. Hey, Tularinos. I've got another Toulousian here for you. I've had this uh, little hatchet for a long time, but I never really use it. Uh, I never really liked how well it worked, and I always just kind of figured it was the handle. But uh, because it has this rubber grip, when you'd use it, it would end up twisting. Every few hits, the handle would be twisted, and you know, every time you were swinging, you would end up missing your target, or the the head would start being crooked. And uh, I was taking a close look at it the other day, and I realized. I think I know why. If I pull this little collar back, it can help to see it. Look at that. Look how crookedly offset the eye was formed in that. So it's off balance, always striking crooked. So I think that's dangerous. <laughs> I don't really want to use it anymore and I have no intention of trying to fix it. I have enough projects, so I'm going to say that's a Toulousian, which is unfortunate because it was a Coleman branded product, but I don't know where it was from or what year it was made. So unless someone out there watching has a bright idea for how to make use of this in a safe way, I think it's just going to go in the bucket. So sorry Mr. Coleman Hatchet into the bucket you go. The bucket of shame. Well, Tularinos, the cold doesn't seem to bother the Honda too much. George is having a good time sliding around out here with it. <laughs>